religious people. They rejected communism because it was atheist. Obama went into these communist organizations in Chicago as an organizer to recruit black people because they thought a, a front man with a black face could succeed where the communists had failed. Well, that's what Margaret Sanger said. She said, we got to hire blacks, pose as liberals to kill these weeds. Uh, let's take a quick call here. Uh, let's talk to Julio in Illinois, uh, in Chicago, speaking of the, uh, uh, the Chicago mob. Uh, Julio, you're on the air. Yes, uh, this all makes sense. Joel, we all have to have prayers for this man. This is unbelievable. I'm shocked. I'm still shocked at hearing that Weather Underground comment. But anyway, uh, this all makes sense. You talk about Marshall's, uh, you know, sex craze, you know, sex rebel book, and Obama's mother and her escapades. Uh, Barry Satoro has the same type of tendencies here in Chicago with Rahm Emanuel, the down low club, and uh, man's country. And uh, I just have a question, Joel, how can I get in contact with you to set up a screen? Here in the second, yeah. By the way, uh, uh, I know Julio, he is a reporter. Uh, so I guess you just email uh, Joel, correct? Our website it's uh, Obama's Real Father.com. You can send us a screening request or uh, check all the different press reviews are up there. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. And uh, you can also get the DVD there if you'd like as well. We have them right here at Infowars.com. That supports both of us. But either way, we got to get this out or we have no future. Thank you, Julio. We're almost out of time. Jam one more in. Richard in Canada, 30-second question. Go. Uh, how do you think Obama's ideological background fits into his global globalist agenda of being a... Of a being on the U.N. Security Council and going to war at the behest of the United Nations. Yeah, what do you make of that, like putting our military under U.N. command? Well, uh, Obama, it, it, as communism is a universalist uh, ideology, as is Islamism, they, there's a nexus between Islamism and communism and Marxism. They both believe that American capitalism is an enemy that has to be destroyed. So by putting the United States at the behest of the U.N., it's part of the internationalist uh, agenda. All right, we're going to have to get you back on next week to talk about this. Joel Gilbert, uh, the film available at InfoWars.com. Dreams uh, from my real father. Thank you so much and be safe. We'll, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back with Lord Moncton from Rio. Stay with us. I'm Alex Jones. Well, this has been an incredible Friday transmission so far. My head is spinning with the last interview uh, that we had. The next 40 minutes or so, Lord Christopher Moncton joins us from Rio de Janeiro via video Skype while it holds up. He's got breaking news here, so we're going to go right to him. Then I'm going to have my review of the New World Order propaganda police state um, rise of the dark night. And we've got the spoilers, all of it. And not too many spoilers, but that's coming up in a special presentation at the very end of the show today on the Friday edition. I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, live on the Sunday show. Now, Lord Christopher Moncton uh, is the head of sciencepublicpolicy.org. He was a top advisor to Margaret Thatcher. He's an inventor. He's also uh, run some of the biggest newspapers in England. So he's also a journalist. And he is the guy that's broken, I'd say, more than anybody, the big stories on the fascistic control freak nature of the fake greens, ignoring all the real environmental issues, and they're there. Believe me. And just making it a total takeover of society with carbon taxes and the rest of it. He's got big breaking news now, and they have video that they're breaking here that we're going to show you and describe for radio listeners of just the lavish fashion shows, caviar, all of it, you know, the eve, the, eve, you know, the carbon footprint, these pigs, all of them living off our tax money while they want you to die, which is what the UN does everywhere. Their whole agenda is death, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about that with Lord Moncton. Joining us from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, where they've uh, painted Christ green uh, and literally t going full bore with the religion to give us the report. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. It's a real pleasure to be with you, Alex. I'm just on that statue of uh, Christ standing high over Rio de Janeiro, the iconic symbol of the city, uh, built in 1888. And for, for the first time, instead of appearing as glorious, glittering white marble, it's a lurid green color. However, the Almighty has a sense of humor, and for the last few days throughout the conference, there has been low cloud and heavy rain, so that this lurid green statue has been almost entirely invisible from anywhere in Rio. <laughs> 
I tell you, it, it, it's like the green horse of apocalypse, a pestilence or whatever. This is ridiculous. Uh, of course, they have a statue there, too, uh, in Brazil, in, in their capital, of uh, Prince Charles as, as, as the Christ, saving them uh, with his environmental lordship. But, but uh, Lord Mockton, let's continue here. I know you've got a lot of breaking news. Tell us what you've seen the last few days there. I think the most significant thing, having been to many UN uh, conferences as an official delegate to a non-government organization over the years, is that delegates from non-government organizations, such as the one that I'm with here, which is the Committee for a Constructive Tomorrow, a responsible and sensible environmental group, we have now, for the first time ever, been excluded from sitting in on the official plenary sessions where the negotiations are actually going on. We are not allowed access to the world's news media either. We aren't even allowed to see copies of each successive draft of the negotiating text. The last one we saw was the one that came out before the conference even began. And so this censorship by the UN is something new. And Alex, I think I know All right, we lost him there. Also sponsored by the UN not so long ago. All right. And there too, I, I was, they tried to ban me from the conference, but I got in that time. I got a copy of the negotiating document and revealed it to the world, as a result of which, within 24 hours, half of the document, which contained all the lunatic proposals that I had exposed, had been dropped and the UN doesn't want that humiliation again. So it has decided that in this so-called transparent conference. In fact, nobody is allowed anywhere near the negotiating delegates. No one is allowed to see the working documents of the conference until the conclusions are merely hand down, handed down to us on high at the end. We've been showing a video that we're going to show from front to finish uh, that you're breaking here from science and publicpolicy.org uh, of the lavish uh, parties, the runway models, the the caviar, uh, you know, the giant jets coming in. I mean, this is quite, this makes a Secret Service orgy look tame. Well, it is uh, extremely lavish. Uh, for instance, Richard Black Branson flew in here on one of his own planes, huge carbon footprint there, and his minders on seeing me in the room made him walk three quarters of the way, the long way around the room, so that he didn't end up running into me and having to talk to me. David Suzuki, the environmental freak, he is here too. I shook him by the hand, and he dived away. He by the way, he calls back. humans maggots. He, he, That's right. He ran away because he didn't want to talk to me or be photographed shaking my hand. These people are running scared. They know, Alex, that it's all over. They know that the world has become cynical. And breaking news here, if you like, last week we sent spies in. They do it to us, so now we're doing it to them. Spies to go into the meeting of the international local government group called ICLE, which is implementing secretly on the ground in various places, including the United States, the measures of the so-called Agenda 21 environmental thing, which means effectively closing down the West. And these people said among themselves, they didn't realize we were listening, that they're encouraging each other no longer to use the word environment, no longer to talk about climate change, because they said to each other, we know now that the people are not buying this message anymore. We'll have to think of something else. And what this means, Alex, is that we are winning. And further breaking news on this, the pre-session draft, that's the session, that's the draft of the negotiating text at this conference that was produced before the conference even began by the various uh, beavering away working groups of pointy-headed leftists that put these things together, starts out with an admission that the world's most serious problem is not climate change, it's poverty. So they've now abandoned, officially, right at the top, the whole climate storyline. Of course, there's still waffle about it in the main text, but it's no longer uh, described as the most serious problem, as it always was in all previous UN conferences. Now, 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 of course, sir, yeah, yeah. 
uh, you've broken down the numbers here, but tell people briefly what would happen if they were able to put their carbon taxes in. Because, yes, we've defeated them on the surface, which is a devastating victory, another wonderful victory, and, and, and they're imploding, as you've chronicled and helped, helped you know, engage in. But they're still implementing by stealth and at a state and city level, as Schwarzenegger said they would do, leading their attack flotilla three years ago in Copenhagen, and they have gone with that strategy. So uh, what's going on? Well, I guess you don't know fully what's going on because they barred you, but I know you have spies inside. Well, that's right. We were able to get into the, the ICLE group meeting last week, and they told us everything because they thought we were um, part of them. They didn't realize we, we were, in fact, not part of them. And so they were very frank that they wanted to fool the people by using the environment as an excuse. But they were no longer willing to use the word environment. They're no longer willing even to use the word green. It's now hated by the majority of the voters. Uh, and, instead, and they're no longer talking about climate change either because they have now realized that the public have seen right through this nonsense and that if they were to go on using that language, then ultimately they would completely lose the argument if indeed they haven't completely lost it already. So what is happening, of course, is that around the world there are these local authorities at local government level uh, trying to put into effect what the UN wants, which is the instrument of effectively global government interfering at a local level. That's what ICLE is all about. And anyone who believes in democracy ought to be concerned about this and worried that they are no longer willing to speak honestly. And that's why they won't use the yes, phrase sir. environment anymore. They won't use the word green. But they're being dishonest with us. What they really want is absolute totalitarian power. And we're going to break down what else you've learned. I, I just made an error because you're... you're your office gave, pointed the video out to us. I misunderstood the crew. Uh, the video of them lavishing themselves with the runway models and the caviar and the champagne is from, and of course you wouldn't know this because you're in Rio, uh, cfact.org. I've seen some of their other videos. They're doing a great job. That's another group I need to get on the show. Cfact.org. Right. In fact, I am here as a representative of the Committee for Construction. Okay, good. So, so we were corrected. Okay, that's well, why your crew gave it to us. Yes, okay, good. Absolutely. These are my team here, and I am part of their team, if you like. And they are... Okay, good. That's where the confusion, because I was told, here's Lord Moncton's footage, we're breaking it, and so now I understand. So we are correct. Yeah, Go ahead. It really is. It really is, uh, you know, the no, no, wonderful job. Okay. Let's just move on from that now. What else do you know? We're about to go to break. What else? What else is breaking there? So the most important thing is that there's a feeling of absolute um, alarm here, a, a gloom on the part of the usual suspects. Uh, they've got children as you know, they propagandized children they're exploiting and they've got them to do posters showing the sun dressed up as a doctor talking to planet earth and saying <laughs> the disease that you've got is humans in other words little children are being taught by these left-wing extremists wow. that humans are a poison on the planet and should be wiped out it, 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 it couldn't get more serious than that. And I'm that is big breaking news. news. That's yes, what they do what they is they push this idea that uh, humans are a disease, but now they're brutalizing children with this to wreck their self-image. I've been told of Austin children in, in, in first grade or kindergarten crying when they come home because they're filthy devil humans. This is child abuse. It is exactly that. It is illegal in Britain to do that to children, and it ought to be illegal in the United States too. So if any parents are listening to this or watching this and have heard their children being propagandized in this way, then they should complain to the police about child abuse, because that is... You're quite right, Alex. That's exactly what oh, it is. Oh, it's the worst time. They're, they're telling it. children they're crud, they're murdering the earth. For a long time. All right, Lord Moncton is our guest with breaking news, and he's there working with the great folks. I've been seeing their videos at cfact.org. He's working with that organization. Uh, and uh, tell us what else you're discovering and finding, because, ladies and gentlemen, when I get up here and I say it's child abuse to tell five- and six-year-olds humans are scum, I saw an, an ABC News of Australia. Look it up. They have a video game they make the kids play at school where little pigs and chickens and goats and cows have their heads chopped off and blood sprays. 
this is seven and eight year olds, when the humans take up too much carbon and then humans though can kill themselves. Now, 